Brie here. The second Nipsey bag came in. This is the September one. Let's see what we have. I slept in pretty late today. So that's why it sounds so raspy and looks sleepy. Because I am. Let's see what I have I'm going to give you a little piece more, guys. <laughs> I've been trying to fade my hair. So it's getting like this blush pink. Because I really miss my orange hair. So I'm probably going to go back to orange. Here's the bag. It has constellations on it. And it's pretty much blush pink. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. The zipper has a crystal on it. And I'm sure at any moment, my boyfriend's probably going to try and, like, ruin this video. That's what he wants to do, anyway. Find your light, light. I think that's what it says. September is all about new paths and possibilities. So whether it's going all out with a bold new lip shade or masking at home to recharge from within, take a moment to rediscover your guiding north star. Where will it lead you? Hashtag discover yourself. Oops. <laughs> Good news. Oops. Knocks y'all over. My bad. Good news. Mercury is not in retrograde this month. And your five glam bag products have arrived. <laughs> Allow us to demystify them for you. The first up is Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. That's really small. I mean, it is a sample uh, container, but it looked bigger on the picture. Tiny. Made with natural ingredients, Glow Recipe products embody what's best about K-Beauty. This gel-like mask can be used in the AM or overnight. It should have said AM or PM. Anyway. Uh, to give your skin a major hydration boost. Watermelon, seaweed, and pumpkin fruit extract brighten product, pr <laughs> brighten, protect, and even out skin texture. Tip, mix up the formula for a wash-off mask. Apply it all over your face. Let it sit for 10 minutes, then rinse, which is probably how I'm going to use it. For overnight use, pat it into skin to absorb and rinse off in the AM. See how it smells. Oh. oh, that smells really good. Mm. It smells like cucumbers, even though it's watermelon. It's weird. Nice texture. I'm surprised he didn't come in here and ruin my video. I'm doing that just fine myself. <laughs> I know what you're all thinking. Is she gonna taste that one too? And maybe. It smells edible. It smells much better than the other one smelled. Next up, IBY Beauty Highlighter in Private Jet. Sorry, the lighting isn't the best today. Oh, 
think it's better than last time I did because I had like way too much light last time. Well, if I can even get the damn thing open. Jeez. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That's probably why I was having a hard time opening it. This packaging isn't as cute as the other highlighter. Let me see if I can do something about the lighting. days I'll get the hang of where to set the camera and the lighting. I don't have any like lighting equipment yet. So we're not fancy smancy here. Uh, Los Angeles based brand IBY stands for inspired by you and they encourage, they encourage others to express themselves through makeup. This vitamin E and rose hip oil infused highlighter minimizes the drying effects of sun and heat while giving you a natural looking glow. Tip, apply this highlighter wherever the sun naturally hits your face, like onto your temples, brow bones, the high points of your cheeks, bridge of your nose, cupid's bow, the chin, like any other highlighter. I hear him walking around in here, I'm just waiting for it, because he keeps telling me he's going to the video. I wish you all could see me this better. It's very golden. I think they're going a little bit over here. Sorry about the lighting, guys. I hope you all could have heard everything I just said because I didn't have my microphone on. I'm a whole mess today. I don't know if I like it as much as the other highlighter I got. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Because this one's more gold and the other one had more pink tones. Ofra Cosmetics, Ofra X Madison, Ollie, <laughs> Ollie Nita's Love Blush. This limited edition collab between Beauty Guru. Ofra, Ofra, Gato, and beauty lifestyle vlogger Madison Miller gives us highly pigmented shadows, glosses, blushes, and beyond. This terracotta peach blush can be worn dry or wet to intensify it. Uh, and as an eyeshadow, oh, that's nice. Tip: Swirl a fluffy brush into all you need is love and tap off any excess smile big see the apples of your cheeks don't blush onto them and blend 
dust blush onto them. And I can't read today either. Oh, that's pretty big. Ho oh, ho, bubble wrap. We're all adults here until someone brings out bubble wrap. It's as big as my palm. Let's, you know what? Let's try scooting over some. Maybe it'll help. Maybe it won't. I don't know. I may have made it worse. <laughs> well, maybe not. I'll stay back this way. Here, let's try swatching this one again for you all. Just for a minute. We'll get back to the bush in just a second. Okay, I feel like you can see that one a little better. Uh, I saw a shimmer of glitter. It's right here. Here it is on my finger. Okay. Now I'm being made fun of. He thinks I can't hear him in there. All right, it's about to happen. No, you change your mind. Back to the blush. It's a big thing of blush. Babe, this blush is as big as my palm. Okay, walk off while I'm talking to you. Where's that one? It has a lot of glitter specks in it, too. They definitely paid attention when I did my review and said, I love glitter. I don't wear a lot of blush, but I figured I could explore it some with this. This one is a lot more peachy brown tone than I would wear, but it looks like it'd go really nicely with this new highlighter. So, there's that. I don't know what happened to the bubble wrap in case you're wondering why I'm looking around. Let's see what's next. Phase Zero Makeup Satin Eyeshadow in Velvet. Listen, if you want to disrupt my video, just come in here and do it already. Because I keep pausing, thinking you're going to walk in here. What? My bad. He's on the phone. Oops. Anyway. 
want no fuss makeup to use every day. This brand has you covered with versatile on trend products like this silky smooth plum eyeshadow. Velvet is a luminous shade that goes on sheer but can be layered for drama. Velvet's one of my favorite materials, by the way, so this is exciting to see how this is. Plus, the pigment stays for hours. We'll see about that. Tip for a plum smoky eye, use your finger or a brush to blend velvet all over your lid into your eye crease. Then use a damp angled eyeliner brush to smudge along your lash line. Okay. You'll probably be able to see this one because it looks like it's pretty dark. Here's the packaging of this. A box within a box? Come on, it's a... It's a box within a box in a bag within a bag. Oh, it opens like this. That's pretty cool. I'm not keeping this tiny box, though. That's just nifty. I'm on the struggle bus. I'm trying to open... Oh, there we go. Ooh. Well, that's pretty. Let's try to get it up here with the highlighter and blush. There's definitely... Woo! It, I wish you could see the other ones better. Definitely a fall theme going on for sure. With the bronzies and the purples. Too Faced Damn Girl. Beauty lovers flock to this line of in, sorry, innovative, cruelty-free, and fun products, just like this revolutionary cream mousse mascara. It's made with whipped melting waxes that hug your lashes to lift, lengthen, and volumize. Plus, it's non-flaking and smudge-proof. I don't believe that, but we'll see. Tip, wiggle the mascara wand from the base of your lashes to the tips. Add extra coats to pile on the volume and intensity, which is what I always do with the mascara. Oh. It's in this package. Very shiny and holographic looking. I just want to look at like everything on the package and read the whole package but I know y'all are already bored from how long I'm taking with this video and reading everything but I keep getting distracted by him walking back and forth he paces a lot especially when he's on the phone this is holographic too ah. oh I love that like a disco ball in here. Oh, it's very fluffy. Like, it looks like a woolly worm or something of that sort. May as well, huh? I'm not like trying to fully put it on the way I would. I'm just trying to show you all how it looks. You know, just swatching. You can't really swatch mascara this way. I mean, you could, but I don't feel like you won't fully see what's going on that way. It has a very strong smell. So there's that. 
here are the swatches. The one on the top is the eyeshadow, in the middle is the highlighter, and below that was the blush. And here's the swatch of the mascara, and you all can be ready for the video of me trying this out next. It smells really good. <sighs> okay, bye monkeys.